she struggled with loneliness. Esther, she was taken away from her kinsman, Mordecai. She's brought into this beautiful palace with all this beauty around her, but she was lonely. She didn't have anybody there that she could reach out to. She, Esther probably struggled with the deep pain and from the silence, from the silence of the national abuse towards her people. Imagine, the, we, we many of our Aboriginal people know what that past pain was like. But here's Esther, this precious Jewish woman. We got a national situation here happening where this King Haman, this evil man, wants to tear down all the Jewish people and destroy them. And Esther hears about it. She's the queen of the king, and she can only do so much. But she says, now this is really cool, because in a crisis, hear me, this is where the people come together. Now Esther said to the people, she didn't say pray for me only, she said fast with me. Three days, three days fast with me, and then I will go before my king. And you know what she said? If I perish, I perish. You see, to go before the king without his permission, it could have meant death to Esther. But she was willing to give her life for her people. Now, not that I'm saying we do that, but if God calls us to stand for government and to make a change and to give our all, and to stand as a patriarch for our nation of Canada, you do it if he leads you. But the key is that she was willing to give her all. And she went to the king. And she wanted, of course, to be around many years to serve, of course. But the interesting thing was she said, fast and pray. And she fasted for three days on her knees. But she got the people around her to fast too. And it became a collection of support because the people of the community recognized the value